This relationship, it's limon verified, so. Well, I'm disappointed. I thought for sure he'd have a guitar, maybe even a banjo. Actually, sir, uh, they call it a mandolin. Brad, don't walk right into the punch. You know, we're in what's known as a cult hit, which it means we're a really great show that not a ton of people watch. I'd love to change that. You know, uh, one of maybe the, I, I'm looking for silver linings in this pandemic as much as possible. And one of them may be that if people are fortunate enough to have their biggest problem be what to binge, may I awkwardly, but passionately uh, make a plea for Brockmire if you haven't seen it. The critical response has been very much overwhelming. And, and, and the, the audience response has it well. Yeah, it, it's, it, it's one of those rare times in show business where the, the sum was greater than the parts and it exceeded my expectation. If you fire jewels, I will destroy your whole world. Or something like that. We, we totally beyond did what we wanted to do. We left it all out on the field, as they say. So. I was good with, stuff. I, we're going to do a podcast. The, the character's going to live on. I'm pretty sure we're going to, we're putting it together right now, Brock Meyer kind of comedy sports podcast. I did experience it as a, as a white person, as a white performer, you know, ahead of the curve, I guess. Uh, this movement kind of hit me five to seven years ago with the, with the outcry about Apu. And uh, I would encourage people to... Uh, to just learn, listen and learn. You know, I'm talking to white people now, but really everybody, um, you know, which I think a lot of people are doing, which I think is great. I know it's not perfect what's going on and these things don't change without bumpiness and, and difficulty. Looking at what your blind spots were, what my blind spots were as, as a white person, what I wasn't realizing, just even in terms of show business, just the facts about racism in this country, the history of it, it's a tradition that was handed down in show business. I admire any white person who has an open mind and heart to come to this work out of curiosity and compassion. Like a lot of people are doing in this moment, I think that's wonderful. Listen, I, I, I admit I got, I was, I was kinda, my hand was forced. I really had to look at it because I was getting a lot of criticism and I need, needed to make a pretty important decision.